Hey everybody, a warm welcome back to another video here in Aeroflight FS2. That's right, I'm still enjoying this simulator immensely. And yes, you find yourself in a biplane. This is my first little flight in this beautiful little aircraft. And let me tell you, in VR, feeling quite exposed here. It really has an incredible sense of just you know, that seat of your pants flying that I absolutely love. This aircraft, there's nothing much to see here, it's all about the actual essence of flying and I think Aerofly captures this beautifully. Now if you're wondering, I'm flying still over the, uh, the Orbex Netherlands scenery and it is looking every bit as incredible in VR as anything I've ever seen, you know, to date. Honestly, this sim feels next generation it really does and I know that sounds strange considering Aero Aerofly is actually quite old now but just look at this guys look at the sheer amount of detail that I'm seeing here it's absolutely staggering if X-Plane tried to do this it would just I'd be getting about five frames per second <laughs> So I hope you've had a great Christmas guys and New Year. I've uh, been playing with some new toys including as you've probably seen a uh, new Maverick or Mavic Mini DJI drone which is just a joy to fly. Incredible piece of technology. One thing I haven't really been doing and that's flying an X-Plane 11. In fact I haven't even touched it since we landed in the uh, TBM in Washington on Christmas Eve. And that's really guys because at the moment I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of done with X-Plane until Vulcan's you know finally here and I'm a little bit frustrated with Laminar because they're too busy messing around with their mobile version and they've even openly admitted themselves that Vulcan has taken a bit of a back seat because of this mobile version that they are have been working on and that kind of really annoys me to be honest because that should be their main priority right now. So I'm not really going to be flying an X-Plane until the Vulcan Beta, or Beta, is out. And why would I when, I mean look at this, why would I even bother? This is the best VR experience you can get for flying right now, it is amazing. And this beautiful little aircraft, oh god it's great. And even I've actually been messing around with the Robinson R22 recently as well, which is uh, my first dip into the uh, helicopter world. I'm a rubbish pilot, to be honest. I'm starting from scratch, and uh, yeah, I need to uh, do some training. So I'm, I'm actually going to uh, sort of train myself how to uh, fly the R22 in Aerofly. And you may wonder why in Aerofly, but that's because you'd be surprised that the flight model of the R22 in this sim is one of the best there is out there, bar none. That's alright guys, you wouldn't believe it would you? But you have to remember Aerofly has its roots in uh, remote control aircraft. And I remember that sim being very, very, very... Uh, complex and very realistic. Now a lot of the aircraft do vary but I can say for certain that the R22 Robinson helicopter in this sim is very realistic indeed. And that's why I'm rubbish at flying it right now but um, I'm gonna get better. That's gonna be one of my New Year's resolutions. I actually hate New Year's resolutions but if, uh, if, uh, if I did have one it would be to uh, learn properly how to fly helicopters because I must admit with that huge visibility that you're offered in the helicopters uh, and you know, the fact that you can hover over landmarks it's huge fun and particularly in VR it feels great but yeah X-Plane at the moment I'm taking the back seat until uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll probably post a video when the Vulcan update is here to uh, see if there's any improvement at all. But even, look at that view guys, it's 
story, but that is just breathtaking. Look at the sheer amount of buildings. And I'm getting a solid 45 frames per second in the reverb. That is absolutely stunning. But yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated with X-Plane for a number of reasons. Because, I mean, it's great that they're really honest and open about what they're doing. But honestly, and I never thought I'd say this, but I think Microsoft, <laughs> of all companies, are actually listening to the community better than X-Plane is these days. They're giving us what, what we want. I mean, for instance, what a, a good example of this is the video, the trailer, uh, that they've recently released of snow and it looks absolutely mind-blowing now i actually think this is my take on it anyway that the implementation of snow in the sim is something that they've been working on very recently i think if they was ready to show you that at christmas day they probably would have released it then but the two most requested features of the new sim is either vr or seasons and i think they're cracking on with it to be honest now if you jump back to X-Plane again, there's a lot of issues with the sim, even if you just forget about Vulcan for a moment. Um, there has been some glaring issues with VRAM and texture loading, which is causing such terrible slowdowns. I mean, if your hardware could talk, <laughs> if your 1080 Ti card could actually talk to you about what it thinks about X-Plane 11, it would probably say things that is probably not broad I won't be able to broadcast on YouTube, you know. Because I think, really, it needs a lot of work. And I think that's what they've been doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what is going to be the uh, result of the first public beta of the Vulcan API. And having that said, let's take a look outside at this beautiful bird. Really, really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Now I have been actually quite tempted to buy a uh, aircraft for DCS. But I'm still struggling guys, I really am. So if any, any of you got any advice on what aircraft to get for a newbie into the DCS sort of uh, genre, please let me know. I, I actually really would like to uh, fly the Harrier because it's one of my all time most favorite aircraft. I mean, how can it not be? It's just iconic. But my problem is, you know, you spend 45 pounds or whatever it is on the aircraft itself and it doesn't even have a proper campaign. Um, so, I don't know, I just think by the time you finish you're spending quite a lot of money and I'm not sure I could warrant spending, you know, £100 or more. I'd have to really put some serious hours into DCS and I think at heart I am a GA kind of guy, you know. I'd appreciate in the comments if anyone's got any ideas of what would be a really good aircraft campaign and, I don't know, theatre of war, uh, should we say. I was trying to think the other day how long I've had my reverb now. I can't quite remember, but I think it must be getting on to nearly six months of uh, ownership. And it has been completely rock solid. This, actually, this headset feels better made than my, my CV-1. It just feels really, really good. I think, as I say, the only weak point for me is the Windows Mixer Outer Controllers, which are a bit flimsy. 
you know, they work absolutely fine, trappings are fine, but uh, the actual headset itself is what you pay for really and it's been completely fine and if you, you know, I have used it quite a lot over the time I've had it so far and I haven't had one issue with it at all. It's been totally reliable. Let's check out this bridge over here. So much to see in this region, it's amazing. Oh, and everything looks so nice in the reverb. No screen door effect. Everything's pin sharp. Totally in love. Okay guys, I'm thinking if we get some altitude, I might try a stall in this aircraft for the first time. Just look at those shadows and that lighting in Aerofly, I just love it. I was flying in the R22 the other day and um, went to the outside view and I could see how the, the sun was creating a bit of a bloom on the rotor blades. Just very, very nice indeed. In fact, talking of things like that, let's just have a look. I'll just show you my settings in case you were wondering. And there we are. They are all completely <laughs> like that. Shadow quality, high, ultra, or insane. So we've got insane and ultra all at the right hand side there. And wow, I mean, it, it runs perfectly. As sweet as anything. But yeah, we'll just get some altitude. And see if we can perform a few aerobatics in this aircraft. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Look at that for, uh, for the cockpit layout there. And just in case you're wondering, guys, that there is not the altitude. It's actually a clock. <laughs> okay, let's try a stall in this aircraft. A power on stall. Here we go. Wow, you really feel the height in this thing. Pushing back. Whoa, oh wow. Holy ha <laughs> ha. I was not expecting that. We are actually in a spin. There we go. How's that for flight modeling, guys? That's pretty damn good. I think we'll try that again. That was great fun. Just see how smooth it is as well. Into a spin, right rudder, recover, and then up. Let's go straight into a uh, into a loop if we can do it. I'm not sure if this aircraft will be able to do it. Yes, it can. Oh wow! If you could just see me now, guys, I am grinning like a little kid. This is just so, so much fun. <laughs> Love it. Maybe we could do a, uh, a hammerhead, I'm not sure if that would work. Oh, hang on. Hey, check that out. We just did a hammerhead. 
Let's try that one more time. Up we go. And full left rudder. That is impressive. The other day I was flying the 172 and uh, I was actually coming in way too high at this little strip. In Aeroflight that is. And so I thought, I wonder if, if I side slip the aircraft, whether that would actually work. And you know what it does? It does slow down the aircraft. Now if you're wondering what side slipping means, it's a fantastic way for you, for you to bleed off speed if you're too high on approach. Like say now, if I put opposite, uh, basically, yeah, if I put right rudder in, but left aileron, listen to that wind rushing. I'm creating so much drag right now. I'll tell you one thing guys, Aerofly really, really simulates that very, very well. Better than X-Plane in fact, no doubt about that. Well guys, I am not going to be landing anytime soon, so I'll just finish this video here. Uh, and as I say, I wish you all a fantastic new year. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing to this uh, little channel. Um, and yeah, I can't believe it, I'm nearly at 800 subscribers now, which I never ever dreamed I would get anywhere close to that. Just by posting some videos messing around in flight sims. So it's, it's great guys that uh, you're coming along for the ride and I really do appreciate it. I'm thinking of uh, doing a bit of uh, a few videos in prepared soon and IL2 as well as DCS and X-Plane when Vulcan arrives. So there's plenty of uh, plenty of stuff going on that's for sure. Anyway, for now I'll say goodbye with a victory roll and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye. Whee! <laughs>